Hello YouTube world and breastfeeding world. This video is for you. So I am coming to you from my car because I'm going to do the, I don't know if it's much anticipated, but much promised pumping in your car video. I am someone now, I am still breastfeeding my 20 month old. I do not pump at work. I solely pump in the car on the way to work. I'm a nurse, so I have to leave my house at six, which is typically, fingers crossed, before my daughter May wakes up. So I pump in the car on the way to work. That's the one time I pump and that's more just because one, she gets kind of sad when she doesn't have mommy milk in the morning and two, just so that I'm not totally bursting and full by the time I get home. So pumping in the car is a really good thing to do for a lot of people. So um, it can be great if you're going on a long road trip. It can be really helpful if you're needing to find more time in the day to pump, if you get up really early before your child, all of those things. So that is why I am a car pumper and I'm going to show you how you can be one too. So if you want to learn more, just keep watching. First and foremost, to pump in the car, you're going to need an electric pump, not a manual pump. I have the Medela pumping style is my pump. It goes in this carrying bag. Mine's a little bit dirty. This is the guy right here. So in addition to that, you will need a hands-free pumping bra. This one zips around me and you will need a car charger for your pump. This one is mine here. It just goes into the um, lighter outlet um, or whatever it's called these days since cars don't come with lighters because smoking is bad. And then this end goes into my pump. So, and then you also will just need to be prepared in a few ways. So depending on who you are and when you're traveling, a cover can be really helpful. I'm not one who uses a cover much with nursing, but if I were going to be pumping in the car um, during light hours, I would just use a cover. I also use the cover, like I go get Starbucks before I go to work, I wear the cover when I am in the line at Starbucks. Um, not because I think pumping is unnatural or anything to be ashamed of, but like, I just don't wanna startle people when they're driving and when they're serving me. So I do use the cover for that, but it's normally dark when I am driving to work. So a lot of times I just, free fly. For this video, I am wearing this shirt and a camisole underneath um, because I'm going to show you how I pump in the car, but there are a lot of perverts on YouTube and they always want to see my naked breasts and that's not going to happen. So if you clicked on this video to see my naked breasts, stand in line because there's a long line apparently. They're not that great. Let me tell you, breastfeeding has done a number on these puppies, but this is not the video for you, nor will anybody be the video for you. But yeah, so um, you can either do this part in your house or in your car. I do it in my car because it's dark when I'm getting ready for work. It's light right now, but my neighbors are sleeping. So this is, uh, you want to wear a nursing bra when you do this. You don't want to wear uh, a regular bra because you want to be able to quickly and easily change in and out of everything. So what you want to do, obviously, oh look, another shirt, um, is put on your pumping bra. And zip this guy up over. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Perfecto. Get that in a comfy position. Um, something I do when I pump, and this is just for comfort, I think you should do it too if you're uncomfortable pumping at all. This is just coconut oil, a little bit that I've kind of depotted, if you will, or de-jarred. Um, I always put this on my nipples, so I'm going to simulate doing that, but I'm wearing a shirt, so I'm not actually going to do that. And then I just put my pumping pieces, the flange and the bottle, right on. I will show you guys in a minute. I need to change the angle. Filming in your car is not easy. Anyway, let me bring this down a little bit. So I've got that all hooked up now. I put my seatbelt on and then I hook myself up to my pump. I keep the pump in the passenger seat next to me. That's just the easiest way to do it for moi. And once I'm all hooked up, I will show you exactly what everything looks like. Get this guy hooked in to the cigarette lighter outlet thing. If anybody knows what that's called, please let me know down below. Get myself all hooked into my pump. 
this would be the time you could put your cover on if you're a covering girl. I live on the edge. And I'm not actually doing anything right now, so I am not I'm not gonna do that. Let me just get everything situated. So this would be the time you could put on a cover if that's something that you're into um, or not. You do you, breastfeeding, normalize it, whatever. Um, and then that's it. You just crank her on. Oh, I need to turn the car. So that's going, but not really because my boobs aren't in there. This is the setup in the car. Don't mind all the stuff I just pushed down there. You've got your pump going here and then you so you've got your seatbelt on, everything is nice and secure, and then this is the point when you would just drive. Now one thing to keep in mind, obviously when you're driving and pumping, is that you cannot focus on the pumping at all. Like just let it happen and just pump. You know, you can't be massaging your breasts. Obviously you're gonna be driving maybe at a stoplight, but nothing too, too crazy and you just do your thing. And when you get to work or wherever you're going, you take your bottles off and you've got milk there. So I really, really recommend pumping in the car for anybody who is having trouble finding time pumping at work. It can be an extra session, two sessions really, if you do on the way to work and on the way home. You really only need a 10 to 15 minute commute and it takes about five minutes to set everything up before you get going. So I definitely think it's well worth it. Um, let me know if you pump in the car or if you plan on doing so. I will leave all of the things mentioned linked below um, from Amazon that I purchased. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.